All praise to the Most High God. All praise to Jesus Christ. Enjoy every moment of your life. Every day you wake up is a blessing, so be thankful. Live life maintaining without complaining. We must study the Word of God. I repeat, we must, M-U-S-T, we must study the Word of God of God is very important. We are in a spiritual battle every single day. And if we don't have our spiritual weapon, we are going to lose. If we don't have our spiritual weapon, we are going to lose battles. It's very important that we know the Word of God, that we study the Word of God. We study everything else, watching TV shows, Watching movies, listening to music, watching your favorite actors, watching your favorite football team, worshiping your football team, you're worshiping athletes. Stop doing that. Stop worshiping everything else except for God. Stop studying everything else instead of studying the Word of God. Spend time in the Word of God. Wipe the dust off your Bible. Open the Word of God and read it and study it. In school, you study so you can get good grades on your tests. You study the Word of God so that you can live life in the best way, live in life for Christ, and so that you can win in the spiritual warfare. 2 Timothy 2.15, 2 Timothy 2.19-22, through 22, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the bastard's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. You have to start spending time with God. You have to start spending time in the Word of God. When different situations happen in your life, if you don't know the Word of God, how are you going to respond with the truth if you don't know the truth? If you don't have the truth stored in your mind and your heart from studying the Word of God, how are you going to respond in different situations by speaking the Word of God? The Word of God is our spiritual weapon. It's a double-edged sword. If you don't know the Word of God, if you don't spend time studying the Word of God, you're not going to be able to speak it over situations. What if they take the take away all Bibles tomorrow? Then what? You ain't been spending time studying your Word. You don't got the Word of God in you. And there ain't no Bibles around. They took all the Bibles away. And now, now what are you going to do? Do you know that there, in some countries, a lot of co different countries, Bibles are banned. You're not allowed to have Bibles there. So you need to get the Word of God in you. So if, the, if they ever take Bibles away, you got the Word of God in your mind and your heart, and you can still share it with your family. Y'all can still speak about those scriptures. You can st still share the Word with others. You can still speak the Word of God over different situations in your life. We can't take having, being able to have Bibles for granted. There's many countries all over the world that are, Bibles are banned. And if you have a Bible, you go to jail. Look it up. There's many countries around the world where Bibles are banned. So you need to have the Word of God inside of you, in your heart and your mind. So if Bibles are taken away, it doesn't matter because you know the Word of God because you've been spending time lifting weights. You've been spending time lifting spiritual weights. You've been in the gym. You've been training with the Word of God. You've been eating it. You've been meditating on it. You've been studying it day and night. It's very important that we start studying the Word of God. That we meditate on the Word of God daily. We need the Word of God. We need to study it. Hebrews 4.12 For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. 2 Timothy 3.16-17 All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Romans 15, 
4 through 6. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 5.24 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. It's very important, I repeat, it's very, very, extremely important that you study the Word of God. Going to church one day out of seven days is not good enough. You need to study the Word of God every single day. If you don't study the Word of God every single day, that's an opportunity for the devil to catch you slipping because you ain't, got, you ain't armored up with the Word of God. You don't got your weapon locked and loaded. The word of God is our spiritual weapon. This is Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, the power of his might, not our own might, the power of his might, but put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You can't stand against the wiles of the devil without the armor of God. You can't. In your own strength, your own understanding, you're not able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the device of the devil, without the armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You need the, you need the armor of God to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. The Lord said it twice. The only way that you are able to stand against the wiles of the devil is to have on the whole armor of God. He said it twice. Wherefore, take you unto the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. This world is full of lies. Have your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is what you are standing on for the things that you expect while proving the things that you cannot see. And how do you get faith? You get faith from the word of God. You get faith from the truth of the word of God. You get faith from hearing the word of God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So this is another reason why you need to be studying the word of God because it grows your faith. Stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You draw, you draw closer and closer to the Lord. The more and more that you study the word of God. You build your faith stronger by hearing the word of God. So this is why you need to be studying it. You need to be speaking it out loud. You need to be thinking about it. You need to be meditating on it. You need to be listening to the word of God consistently every day. You have to stay strong. You have to stay filled up with the truth of the word of God. We've been programmed with lies in this world. The devil is the god of this world, lowercase g. The devil is the father of lies. The devil uses thoughts, ideas, and suggestions to destroy you, to steal from you. It's very important that you know this. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You need the shield of faith so that you can quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. So if you don't have the Word of God in your mind and your heart, then you don't have the sword of the Spirit. And if you don't have the sword of the Spirit, you can't speak truth when the lies pop up. 
when the thoughts, ideas, and suggestions come to your mind, those fiery darts, how are you going to speak the truth if you don't got the truth in you? You need to study the Word of God. This is serious. Study the Word of God.